Hi, Dominica here from easysewingforbeginners.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the scan to cut function on the Brother Scan and Cut. I'll go through all the settings and everything you need to know to get going. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so to get started with our scan to direct cut feature, I'm going to turn the machine on and okay that message. Now before we do any scanning and cutting, we're going to have to do a test cut. I recommend always doing a test cut on your material before you do the direct cut on your paper because there's nothing worse than scanning something in, doing your cut and then realizing it hasn't cut through the material properly. Okay, so we've gone into pattern, I'm going to do a test cut and I'm just going to do a square. One will be fine. Now we've got our test cut here, but first of all we need to put our material so I'm using cardstock onto um, the cutting mat and we're going to load it into the machine. Okay, so scan to direct cut. We're going to, going to scan and we're going to go to direct cut. So I've already got my mat in there so I can go straight into scanning the mat. Okay so the machine's just recognizing the images. Okay so the machine has recognized that I've got the teddy bear, the big flower and the bunch of flowers down the bottom there so I'm going to okay that. Alright so the machine has done well with picking up the outline of the teddy bear and the flower up the top there which is all good, um, but you'll find if you have a look in the bunch of flowers down here, it's gone a bit haywire with detecting the lines around the middle there. Um, I'm going to leave that one, um, so I'm just going to reduce that down so it cuts that bottom image off, okay. So now it's got the teddy bear and the flower that it's going to cut out. Now at this point if you want you can hit this button here and you can add an outline to your shapes so if you like a bit of a white border around your cut shapes then that would be the option for you to go into or you could put a shape border around your um, cut files as well or your pictures sorry. Alright so I've got the teddy bear and the flower sele selected, you can OK that and we are ready to cut. Awesome, so that's finished cutting so we can hit OK and we're going to unload the mat there. Okay and let's lift up this, per this excess card here. And you can see it's cut out these shapes beautifully. Now you notice that these shapes had a nice solid line and that makes it really important to, um, for helping the machine pick up those lines and cut out um, a really nice image there. Okay, and we've got the flower as well. So you can see in some spots it's probably cut off a bit of the black edge and it's got a bit of a white border but overall it's a pretty good cut. Okay so that's the scan to direct cut function. Okay all right for this flower image here in my next video I'm going to show you how um, I found a little bit of a hack way to cut out the inside parts of the object because the direct cut is a bit limited um, in where you can only cut out the outline. Okay, so stay tuned for that. Have a look in the playlist. Okay, I just wanted to show you something else that you can do with the direct cut feature with your scan and cut. Uh, I've got some scrapbooking card here and it's got some nice designs on it. Um, you can actually use the direct cut 
feature to cut out some of these shapes. Now there are some limitations to it and I'll go through that um, as I go. So what you need to do is um, load your paper or card on as you normally would. Okay, so the card has been scanned in, so I'm going to OK that. So I hope you can see, but it's it's recognised some of the um, shapes that you can see on the card. But one of the big problems with the pattern on the card is that there's a lot of um, open lines around the edge. So there's white lines going through the um, actual shapes. And you can see that where it's picked up just these little parts of the whole shape there. So what I did um, with one of them in particular is I went over it with a lead pencil so you could see the outline really well. So it's picked up a couple here. So I'm actually going to just bring my arrows in and pick out a few there for it to cut out. So if you scan something in and you find it's not picking up the, um, the whole um, part of the picture that you want. It might be worth going around the edge of it with a lead pencil. Um, some people find as well if they um, move their design to a different part of the mat, the scanner might pick it up in a different part as well. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to stick with those two bits just to de for demonstration purposes. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut those three shapes out. Okay that, and unload my mat. Okay, so you can see I'm just going to take the card off and you can see the, the whole shapes that the machine has cut out there for me. Let's get them off my mat. And here's part of a shape that it cut out for me as well. So you can see when, when there's nice solid lines around the shapes, it can cut out quite nicely with the direct cut. But obviously with this one, the white line across there was um, a bit too thick and it picked that up rather than going around the whole of the shape. Okay, but if you've got the patience to go around all the shapes and make a solid line around it, then it may be worth doing that. So you have some nice decorations for your card making or scrapbooking or whatnot. I hope you found this video useful. Please leave a comment or any unanswered questions in the comment section down below. And don't forget to check out my growing playlist of scan and cut tutorials. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time.